In one of our previous videos, while we were treating circle theorems, one of our subscribers was going forward to table some questions and here we can see Jane Steven is actually asking us a set of two questions, particularly on set. So this video is going to be an attempt to try and answer the question of Jane Steven on set theory, even though he's asking on a question in circle theorems, but that is no problem. That's why we're here to help you build that academic excellence that you're looking for. So if you're also here and you have some issues looking for solutions, particularly as it regards your STEM subjects, mathematics, physics, and even chemistry, you can drop your comment in the link below and we'll do our very best to make sure that they are addressed so that we can set you on that path to excellence. So we are going to attempt this question and they are going to be quite interesting. All right. So here is the first question from Jane Steven and it is saying that out of 25 teachers, 16 are married and 15 are women. If 6 of the men are married, how many of the women are not married? So, this is a case of a question on mutually exclusive sets in which, even though we're having three conditions, we're having men, we're having women, we're also having married people, okay? Now, the truth of the matter is that you cannot have the set of men and the set of women intersecting because that is actually not possible. It's either you're a man a woman forget about all these people that are saying they are lgbt or whatever you are either a man or you are a woman okay that's why the bible says that in the beginning god created them male and female okay so now there is no way that you can have an intersection of men and women but some men are going to be married and some women are going to be married so marriage is a common institution to this set of people whether they are men or women so we are having a very good representation of the case that yes we have men in red we have women in blue then those who are married actually we can have some men that are married we can have some women that are married but we cannot have somebody who is a man and also a woman at the same time that is not possible that's why we are not having the intersection of men and women in short as a rule of thumb what this set is actually saying is that if you are having men and you want to intersect them with women this is going to give you nothing but a null set. It's an empty set, okay? Or something you can just write like that, like this. So this is an empty set. There's no intersection between a man and the woman. So what we are saying is that the total data set that we're giving that teachers, the total number is 25, okay? Then we have it that 16 are married. So we can just denote as married as 16. This is 16. Then 15 are women so we have women to be 15 and then if six of the men are married this is where it gets interesting now we have the men here okay total men in red these are the men but we have been told that six of them are married so those who are married will be here in this shaded region in red okay so that is given as six so let's just know that this is six of the men who are married how many of the women are not married so what we are being asked is the women who are not married. And if you look at the section, you can see here, here is going to be the section for women who are married. And then here is going to be the section for women who are not married. So this is the region where we are being asked to get that. How many of the women are not married? That is the point of interest for us. So if we have to look critically at this question now, we are going to just know. Let me just let me just work it out. There's no need for me to be writing out the set notation. Let's just work and get the solution straight and out. Now, we're told that 15 are women. If we call this particular place, we have the total number of women to be 15. Some of them are married. Some of them are not married. So if you can call the region that is not married, if you can call it X, you can see that for those who are married, we already told that out of all these teachers, 16 are married, meaning that 6 men plus X women are married. So here we can say number of teachers who are married is going to be the combo of the six men, the six men plus X women and are not married. Okay. And in that particular case, what we are going to have is that the number of married we have at 16. Okay. Is equal to six men plus X women. Therefore, the number of women who are married is equal to 16 minus six and that is equal to 10. All right. But that is not what we're asked to find. We just got the number of women teachers that are married 
what we are asked to find is the number of women who are not married and since the total women is 15 you can just see that number of women generally is x plus our unknown and since we have gotten x to be 10 that means we are saying that the number of women which is 15 is equal to x which is 10 plus the unknown such that our unknown the number of women who are not married is nothing but 15 minus 10 and that is five women so now as easy as it gets we just got our answer and we are good to go interestingly you can get every other position also like for example the case of here the number of men who are married if i call this if i call this y even though we are, we are not being asked if i call this y you can see that already if you want to get the total we can say y plus six plus x plus the unknown which you got as five is going to be 25 that's the total so in that case why would just be 25 minus the addition of 6 plus x plus our unknown now 6 plus x x is 10 that is 16 our unknown we got as 5 that makes the addition to be 21 then y the number of men who are not married will be the total number which is 25 minus the sum that we just got as 21 so y will be nothing but 4 y is going to be 4 and our unknown we just got to be 5 so if you can see 4 plus 6 that is 10 then the x that we got initially we also say this is also 10 so 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 10 that is 20 20 plus 5 that is 25 so this is the understanding you need to be able to actually work effectively with sets when they are actually mutually exclusive and i hope j steven you are getting this on the go and you'll be able to tackle it if you are coming across them subsequently all right so let's go ahead and check the other question and here in another question just following the same line we are told that in a school of 750 students 320 are girls 559 students do some kind of sports now if 101 girls do no sports how many boys also do no sports again this is just classical or mutually exclusive sets in which we are we cannot have the same person being a boy and a girl at the same time some of them may be athletes some boys may be athletes some girls may be athletes that's no problem but a boy cannot at the same time be a girl so we are told that the universal set is a school of 750 students so we have that now 320 are girls we can just denote that that girls here is just 320 okay and then 559 students do some kind of sports meaning that the athlete among them is 559 okay then if 101 girls do no sports now let's try and get that region out the girls that do not do any sport at all will have to be outside of the scope of these athletes okay so here we are being given that this is nothing but 101 so 101 they are not doing any sport at all and then we are to find the number of boys who are also not doing any sport so this region is what we are being asked to find now that how many boys how many boys are there who are not doing any sports so again with what we are looking at initially we can also look at this and try and get what we can deduce from this particular information that we have okay now already we are told that 320 are girls so the total number of girls from the information that we have the total number of girls is going to be 320 but that 320 we can see that is comprising this 101 and this particular region if i call it x i can say that x plus 101 is equal to 320 so that the number of girls who are doing sports denoted as x is going to be 320 minus 101 and that's going to be 219 that's 219 okay, so x here is 219 all right now having gotten that already we know that those who are into sports the athletes among them na if i take a as athlete is giving us 559 and we are seeing that here yeah, that 559 will comprise of the girls that are doing sports which is x so if i want to call the boys that are doing sport if i want to call them y i can say that 559 is nothing but x plus y and interestingly we have gotten our x to be 219 so why the number of boys who are into sports will be that 559 minus 
the number of guests who are into sport, which is 2, 1, and if you subtract this, this will be 0, 5 minus 1, that is 4, 5 minus 2, that is 3. So, 340 boys are actually doing sport. So, we have 340 boys that are into sport. And then, again, just like we did the other time, we know that the total number of students that we are looking at in this particular school is nothing but 750. So, we can choose to add all of this now. Since we know number of boys who are into sport, we know the number of guests who are into sport. We also know the number of guests who are not into sport. The addition of all of them, our unknown here in question mark plus y plus x and plus 101 is going to give 750. So, I can say for my understanding of this, the total number of students is going to be my unknown plus y plus x plus 101 okay so let me just work this out directly to say the unknown the number of boys who are not into sport will be the total number which is 750 minus the sum of y x and 101 okay so i just want to lump everything together that y will be 340 as we just got plus the x we also got to be 219 plus 101 that we had initially and that is going to be now let's look at this together um 219 and 101 will be like 220 plus 100 that will be 320 320 plus 340 that will be 680 so we have this as 750 minus 680 and that will be nothing but 90 so 90 boys in this particular case are not doing any sport i wonder what's their reason i know generally boys they like doing sport but in this particular case you can see how we're able to interpret the question effectively because we have the understanding that it is mutually exclusive set and in that particular case there are some regions that are not going to overlap a person cannot be a boy and a girl at the same time you just have to be either a boy or you are a girl but a boy can be into sport a girl can also be into sport so we have that region as those of them that we regard as athletes it can be a boy regarded as y it can be a girl regarded as x and just playing with the numbers we're able to come out with the final solution that yes in this particular case the number of boys who are not doing any sports is 90 and this is just the way you go about solving questions like this i love the fact that j steven is asking this and i hope now it is demystified you can face them even if you are seeing them in your exam and you can come out with that academic excellence that you are looking for. So these are the kind of videos that we push to even respond to your request so that that excellence that you are looking for, you can definitely build. And if you want more of this, just go ahead and click on the subscription icon. And also click on the notification bell so that you will get access to all of our videos as you upload them. So that will be all for today. And until next time, God bless you.